Yo! Hey, what's up, man? Do you have a muzzle brake for a SIG? Huh? You're breaking up. Sorry, I'm in the vault. The service is pretty bad in here. Uh, do you have a muzzle brake for a Roller skates and a wig? Yeah. Why? I took the suppressor off so we can blast it. Bring a necklace and glasses? Perfect. Hey, do you have hollow points? Yeah, yeah, obviously I have gold pants. Awesome, I'll see you at our spot. Come in hot? You got it! Coming in hot! Today's episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. We actually have Death Knight here on video chat to talk about their newest champion. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Matt. Uh, I'm supposed to be promoting Ultimate Death Knight. He's here now, and, and we all just gotta deal with it. You okay, bud? It seems like you're feeling a little pushed out by the new Death Knight Hunt event. Oh, yeah, uh, the one where players just have to log in seven times between now and October 27th, and they get Ultimate Death Knight, my new mortal enemy, for free? Oh, no, Matt, it's not on my mind at all. Have you tried leveling with the guy? Maybe the two of you just need to have a little heart to heart. Uh, hard pass, Matt. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's have a heart to heart about me joining your channel, huh? You want to leave Raid to join Demolition Ranch? Ah, think about it. Your specialty is firearms and my arms have been on fire many times. Or I could be a sandbag or something. Come on, Matt, it's a no brainer. I'm not so sure that you're ranch material. Uh, look, look. I I need this, okay? There's a new promo code, DK Rises, where players get enough items to instantly upgrade any legendary champion, including Ultimate Death Knight, to level 55 star Ascension. <laughs> the writing's on the wall for me, Matt. I need a new crew. Let me join the ranch and we can bust some heads together. Uh, we don't really use the weapons to hurt anyone except maybe targets and water balloons. Uh, what? You don't fight bosses. Not even like spiders or fire knights or ice golems? Mm -mm. Hmm. Sorry, Matt. I think I got a pass on your offer to join the ranch. Dude, you ask me. Matt, it's over. Let it go. Okay, well, don't forget to check out the Death Knight Hunt event happening right now in Raid Shadow Legends and use promo code DKRISES to five-star Ultimate Death Knight instantly. If you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. A pre-epic champion, Tayrell, 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Oh, hey. Welcome to the worst idea I've ever had. Best that Both. So, we had another video the other day in a completely frictionless environment. I was swinging from a swing. All you guys were like, Matt, that is far from frictionless. You're right, we, we, uh, we did ignore a few factors like physics. But today, not today, we have another, an actual, completely frictionless environment. Because we spent $4,000 each on these roller skates. They, if you spin the wheels, you're actually not supposed to spin them um, when they're not on like the ground because they will spin forever and heat up the bearings so much. Not because of friction, other reasons, and they'll break. So like, these wheels will spin forever. So anyway, really expensive roller skates. What we plan to do today is to stand right here on this frictionless surface. We actually got it coated with this um, space age coating Elon sent to us and it's frictionless as well. So frictionless skates on frictionless surface. Whoa. We're just gonna shoot guns and see how far it pushes me back. Cause the swing one, the problem, the main problem with the swing one was the further you went back, the more gravity was fighting against you. This one, gravity can't touch us because we're staying in one straight plane and I'm gonna be going just taking off like a rocket ship. We have our um, official Measuring tape, it's been calibrated, and uh, it'll tell us exactly how far uh, each gun pushes us back. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. I also put a butt pad on because that's what I think I'll hurt the most. We thought about putting body armor on, and we're like, nah, tailbone's what's gonna get hurt. <laughs> Slow pitch. All right, first up. 
for shooting the uh, SIG in the flux brace. This is a nine millimeter. I'll shoot one shot and then we'll shoot kind of a burst. I'm gonna get right to the edge so you can see we start on zero right there. So my heels will be on zero. So the test will be to see how far we go with the heels. All right, firing. Absolutely zero. Okay, firing multiple. Sweet. Okay, well, um, that answers that. We need something bigger than a nine millimeter. Hey, come on, man, grow up. Okay, I think we're gonna do 10 millimeter now. After seeing that nine, I have a feeling this is also not going to do anything, but there's only one way to know. Let me get in the frictionless plane here. So, 10 millimeter going in here. 10 millimeter is more powerful than a nine, but still, I don't think it's gonna kick me back very much. Oh, I moved it a little bit. All right, that kind of tripped me a little bit. I wonder if I lean more this way. Yeah, I'm gonna say that did push me back six inches. It wasn't like a smooth six inches. It's kind of a bumpy six inches. Oh, that was weird. Okay, lined up. This is a nine millimeter. Just kidding. 4570 government. That's a big old round, as can be seen as it goes in here. Look at that thing. Just don't wanna fall. Try to get in the best shooting position possible. Oh. <laughs> kind of got about six inches there. Let me try shooting for the hip. Oh. Dude, we got a foot out of that. Four shots, we move back one foot. God, freaking powerhouse. Okay, you'd think in a frictionless surface you would go like forever. That's because you don't know about physics, obviously. Next up, 12 gauge shotgun. Ow. Comrade 12, semi auto. 12 gauge. That's a beefy boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, should I shoulder it? Oh, oh, that really didn't move me much. All right, let's do a hit. Oh, we jammed. So I was wondering if we were gonna have any limp wristing today. I'll try to put it against me. Okay. Sweet, we jammed again, but we did make it back a foot and a half now. Slowly but surely working it back. I don't know if that's limp wristing or what, because as if you think about it, as I'm rolling backwards, we are taking away some of that force that needs to be held forward to drive that bolt back forward and shove that round in the chamber. Next. Ugh. Next up, we got a 5.56. Check this out. Daniel Defense DD4 R3. Look how good it looks. Okay, this is brand new from Daniel Defense. We threw a Vortex Razor HD one to six on it. We threw a Surefire light up front. And up here it has the classic colored brown handguard, but this is their Riz 3. So this is not a quad rail like the normal ones, like the other Daniel Defense one that I have. It is M-Lock. It is 12 and a half inch handguard there and super beefy, but a little less bulky than the quad rail, but you can still mount things all over it however you want. And we got ambidextrous controls over here. We have uh, you know a few other Daniel Defense parts on here to make a very fine little 16 inch rifle. Let's just shoot it first, see how it runs. Let's get on a not frictionless surface. Daniel. Oh, hey. <laughs> 100 yards. All right, I was trying to do it fast, but let me try to do it fast a little better. I am really not stable in these things. I have like heels on with rollers on them. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed the last one. All right, yeah, this thing's sweet. Let's shoot the little one over there. Oh, I missed. There it is. She's slick. She's sexy. I like it a lot. Let's get in it.
hit my head. I had the weirdest dream. Okay, Ugh. let's go shoot this thing and see how much it moves me back. Single shot. Good. Multiple. Okay. We're gonna call it two and a half feet. Now let's bring out the big guns. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> this is a full auto AK-47. It was the most fun with the swing. It might be the most dangerous with this. We're gonna see. Not that it's dangerous, because it's not. It's totally fine. Single shot. Okay, yeah, piece of cake. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite means of transportation. Just fire to AK-47 and see how far it pushes me backwards. That was pretty fun, so we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Did we jam? Oh no, we were out. I thought we had more ammo than that. Full auto AK for the win. We are gonna shoot the Barrett now. I don't think it's gonna push me as far. Instead of like a bunch of little pop, 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 it's gonna, just gonna go pop. So it just might knock me over. But I, I'm tough, so like you could pop me and I'm, psh, won't even hurt. Even that's hard on roller skates. All right, worst idea I've ever had. In three, two, one. Shoot. One. Solid. <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, no one died. I think we'll just call that one good. Okay, we have successfully proven, obviously, that we have made a completely frictionless surface. So there's no arguing in the comments about it today, guys, because there's nothing to argue about. If you know anything about physics, you know that this was totally frictionless. And the Daniel Defense DD4 Riz 3, super sweet. Very cool piece here. And then, of course, the full auto AK is. It's pretty much the frictionless king. I don't know if y'all know, but this AK is actually a frictionless uh, unit as well, like inside. That's why it operates so smoothly. There's no friction in there. So I, it's because I put this coating from Elon in there too. I just put it everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact right. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.